Uh, it's obvious if you believe yourself to be perfect, you believe yourself to be a god, and that is stupid. If you try to live up to what your parents may have put upon you, you know, that you are the darling little boy, mm -hmm. or you are the darling princess, you are going to look for a god, for a partner, and you are going to think of yourself as some kind of special creature. And sooner or later, that is going to collapse. I mean, you just have to look at the fundamentalists. That, that is the addiction to perfection. That is the addiction to perfection, because it leaves the whole human side, which is not perfect, mm -hmm. unlooked at. And sooner or later, that great energy will just come up and say, okay, look at me. So that you can strive for light and spirit and beauty and truth all day, go to sleep at night, and the addictive energy comes up. And the says, dark side. Okay, now it's my time. What do you do if you love that dark side? In your practical, well, the you just come to accept it? You say, well, that's me. Yeah, but the dark side is beautiful. Because there's a dark side to the feminine. I mean, feminine isn't all nice. And... No, indeed, no. The feminine can be very cruel if you do not honor her, as the masculine be can be cruel if it's not honored. But to love the, the juicy side of life, I mean, you know, it's, to put a Madonna up on top of a pedestal, all white and all perfect and all nourishing, cherishing mother, that's to make her a goddess up on top of the pedestal. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about being a human being who loves being in the body, who loves to see the glory of spring, hear the glory of the birds, taste the glory of good food, to live the sexuality, you know, to know what it is to be human and love it, instead of trying to be a spirit that's going to take off in a UFO to go to heaven. And the, and the body then becomes just an empty shell.